2021 F350. Customer just bought it, but they want a bed cover installed. It's got an eight foot bed on it or whatever it is, it's the long bed. I don't know the exact specs, but if you get a long bed, it's gonna be this spec. So let's go in there and get this uh, tonneau cover. And uh, I don't know what I said, did I say tonneau cover in the beginning of the video? It's the start of my day, I'm just waking up. Let's go put this on. Okay, there's the part number for this bed cover. It looks like it's gonna be a VH3Z99501A42F. I think it's a hard cover because this bastard is heavy. This thing is like literally the easiest bed liner you'll ever install. You just have somebody help you put it up here. And I, I'm gonna have to spin it around because, well, no, actually, actually that is how it goes. It goes with these up there. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, it goes the other way. These go up there. I had them backwards because there's latches on both sides. It's like the easiest thing to install, literally. You got like two clamps, a couple rubber strips that go on the end that some people don't even install, and that's it. So what I'm doing now is I'm making sure that all these flaps right here are lined up with the crease of the bed. A lot of people make this more complicated than what it has to be. That drop down divot goes right next to the seam right here. And then when you go down here, this lines up with that crack, the split. And then you just kind of bump it over and make it what you need it to be. A little bit more. That's, uh, it's kind of perfect. And then I'll go up here, recheck one more time on my. Now look at my, my relation to this line right here. So it won't be perfectly straight because you look at this cap here. So it's pretty close. And then I'll come up to the top and make sure that I split at least half of this. Or about a third. That's actually not bad. I got about half, a little bit more than a third, between a third and a half overlap on this top part, and now I'm gonna do the same thing and make sure my overlap's good on the bottom. I got about an inch and a quarter in, so I'm good there too. So if we actually go around and look at the quality of how it's lined up, you see you got a little bit of a gap right here on this plastic, it sticks over a little bit, like a quarter inch. And then you got good spacing up here on overlap. Try to move that foam edge right to that. And if you go down here and look at your gapping at your plate down here, it's good gapping. That's pretty good gapping. And then you go up here and look. Okay, everything's pretty much even. But now let's go look at the Ford emblem on the bed. Well, that's good with the center of the camera and that don't ever line up. So then you have to finagle with it. Another way to look and see if you've gotten the center is if you follow that seam and the corner right there where it comes down on the side of the bed corner, how you got the glass and then there's a crease and then it goes around. If you look at where the bed comes right there at the crease and then you look at the bed here, they're even. And then you come down here and you look at this. Then you look at your four plates 
in this corner here up there the seam here this plate here and the plate up there in the corner you pretty much got it right where it needs to be here's here's the trick you notice it's moved that's because I actually moved it over Ford never has it in the right spot when it comes usually so you'll have to actually restick that sticker yourself and then you go in there and clamp everything down so I don't really follow the instructions to the T because they try to give you all these damn measurements and everything else. I don't do all that. I find the bed cover the way I want it, and then I go put the installation kit in. So I got it exactly where I want it right now. Everything's centered. You look at the back of the headrest right there in the back window. You can see where that clamp is. You look at the back of the headrest there. You can see where that clamp is. It's another point of measurement. Then I climb inside, and I drop these down, and I see where my my little rubber strips that actually push over the metal right here. And then I'll go ahead and run my little clamp over, do the same thing on the other side and get it all nice and secure. How I figured this out is I go ahead and drop this down and then I look back there and see, okay, I want this little rubber piece that to go over the metal and I want it centered to that clamp. So then I'll put my rubber piece on there. And I'll drop my clamp down. And then I have it installed there. And it's a good point of reference of where this thing needs to stay. You drop your clamps down just like you did here. And then you slide these. You slide this up on the metal side and you clamp it down. Okay, so make sure the rubber side of the clamp goes on the metal, which is the inside. And then the flat metal piece goes on the back of the plastic so it doesn't scratch into the bed. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and figure out where you want to be. So you see here I'm just a little off. I need to go a little bit more sideways. Or, so you can actually move it a little bit. And then naturally where it hangs, it's going to be right in the center. So now you're a little bit, it would be nice if it goes just a little bit more. right there all right so now I'm centered tighten everything down and then tighten your wing nut down and you see out here I got that rubber strip pretty much right with the edge of that just so I could have the proper overlap at the tailgate this is how I like to do them well I got everything tightened down here I got the clamp slid over flat side on the plastic rubber side back here on the metal Went ahead and tightened it down after I got it centered to the drop down piece. Ran my wing nut up, tightened it down all the way so no water gets in the cargo area. Nice overlap all the way at the end. Got my clamp over there as well. Down here at the end, got my rubber strip over the metal and then I got the plastic pulled down and flipped over it and the rubber strip is there to protect this plastic uh, anchor fastener from getting rubbed through by the metal here. That's it, that's how you install this. Pretty easy. if you do want to go by the instructions you can go by the instructions i modify things a little bit my way because i install these so much i actually don't like the way the manufacturer explains how to do it they make it too complicated with all the measuring and stuff like that measure it to your eye measure it to what you like and these help. things don't come like they're supposed to all the time you know like that little ford symbol on the back you'll have to actually probably move this and center it to your tailgate yourself i'll take care